if we put an equation uh, like this, which is just linear in shine and cosh, so it's just you know what, four shine x here plus seven cosh x is twelve, and no sort of squares or cubes or anything like that. Um, we can solve this by using the uh, exponential forms of shine and cosh, essentially their the definitions. So um, you remember that uh, shine x is uh, e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by 2, and cosh x is e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2. So substituting in the definitions, we get that. Um, if I multiply it all by 2, just to, to tidy it up a little bit, so I'll get rid of these uh, twos here and I'll have 24 on the right hand side instead. It's a bit easier to work with, then I multiply this out, I get 4e to the x minus 4e to the minus x plus 7e to the x uh, plus 7e to the minus x is 24 and combining the, um, the like terms here we've got 4 plus 7 is 11e to the x and minus 4 plus 7 that gives us plus 3e to the minus x equals 24 um, not immediately helpful perhaps um, but it is because we can recognize that this is actually a disguised quadratic equation in, in e to the x. So what I mean by that is if we multiply this all through by e to the x, I'll get 11e to the 2x, or 11, that's 11e to the x. In fact, let me leave it as 11e to the x squared. Um, this becomes just plus 3e to the minus x times e to the x, and this is 24e to the x, and I'll move that to the left-hand side and write that as minus 24e to the x plus 3 equals 0. So we can see this is a quadratic equation in e to the x. It's like 11y squared minus 24y plus 3 equals 0, where y is e to the x. So here's it. So I can solve this quadratic equation. Perhaps I'll just use the formula and say y equals 24 plus or minus the square root of 24 squared minus 4 times 11 uh, times 3 all divided by 2 times 11 which is 22 um, uh, so yeah, that simplifies down to 12 plus or minus the square root of 111 uh, divided by 11 um, so that's then my values of y and but y was e to the x this was an equation in x originally so actually I've got e to the x equals uh, 12 plus or minus the square root of 111 divided by 11 uh, so x is the natural logarithm of 12 plus or minus 111 divided by 11. Two different solutions there. Of course, we're taking the logarithm, we do need to make sure we're taking the logarithm of something positive. Um, but the square root of 111 is, is smaller than 12, so this is going to be positive even for the even for the negative one. So we do get two different solutions there. You could leave your answer like this, or you could put it into a calculator and uh, and, and give it a decimal. Um, so that, that's a method that works, you know, well for this sort of equation. You, know, you could also use it, of course, just to solve something simple like, you know, shine x equals seven. You could uh, replace shine with e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by two, multiply it out, so it's exactly the same thing. Or, you know, uh, cosh x equals five or something like that. Um, we're going to look at those sorts of things in a bit more detail later because what we're essentially doing there is looking at an inverse uh, function. So, uh, you know, I could say actually uh, x is just inverse shine of of seven, um, but the way we'll work out those inverse functions is essentially doing something exactly exactly like uh, like this. Um, to take a slightly different example, then um, let's say we've got a uh, two shine squared x minus five cosh x minus one equals zero. So here we've got a shine squared um, and a, a cosh term. Now, if I were to just multiply out uh, shine squared and cosh and do the same thing, I'm going to get something a bit more complicated to solve. In principle, uh, it would it would still work, but we might struggle to end up solving the equation we get. It won't just be a nice quadratic like that. Um, so if we can here, we want to use uh, another technique, and it's a very similar technique to what you've used already probably for ordinary sine and cosine. So we're going to use the identity uh, cosh squared x minus shine squared x uh, equals 1, uh, to rewrite this as a quadratic equation in either a shine or cosh. Now here, it's the shine squared we can replace with a cosh squared. So uh, this would become, this equation is shine squared x identically equal to uh, cosh squared x minus 1. So 2 shine squared x is 2 cosh squared x minus 2. So if I replace um, uh, that 2 shine squared x with 2 cos squared x minus 2, we'll get 2 cos squared x minus 2 minus 5 cos x minus 1 equals 0. 
So that's 2 cos squared x minus 5 cos x minus 3 equals 0. And I've engineered this one, so it uh, factorizes nicely to give uh, 2 cos x uh, plus 1 times cos x minus 3 equals 0. It didn't factorize. You could use the, you could, you could again see this is a quadratic equation in cos and you know, apply the formula so, you know, as if it was like 2y squared minus 5y minus 3, whatever. Here I can see it just factorizes like this. Um, so essentially I get two solutions for cos x here. I've either got cos x equals minus 1 half or cos x equals 3. But if you think back to the definition of cos x or think about the graph uh, here, you know, this is cos x um, and cos x is never smaller than 1. So uh, actually the solution here we've got cos x uh, equals minus 1 half we don't have any uh, solutions and then uh, the second one here cos x equals 3 we'll have to solve uh, just as um, uh, I said uh, here so if we uh, rewrite this as e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2 uh, equals 3 see this uh, multiply it 3 by 2 and then 3 by e to the x to get e to the 2x uh, minus 6 e to the x um, plus uh, 1 equals 0 and now again this is a quadratic equation in e to the x um, if you've done a bit more on this you might be, you can just use the formula for inverting uh, cos as well um, but for now it's just a quadratic equation so we've got uh, e to the x equals uh, 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 all divided by 2 which simplifies down to uh, 3 plus or minus the square root of 2 uh, and so the two values of x that give us cos x equals 3 are log uh, 3 plus or minus the square root of 2 and um, thinking about the graph uh, of cos x again it does make sense for a particular y value here we're saying where is cos x equal to 3 so here we've got one solution here and another solution uh, here Sorry, I meant to say um, uh, 2 root 2 here, not root 2, that's 3 plus or minus 2 root 2, uh, and the answer there, uh, if you simplify down the set, sorry about that. But there we go, um, different types of equation involving shine and cosh, so we've got something like this where we can just use the exponential form directly, or something like this where we might use the identity, um, you know, uh, cos squared minus shine squared equals 1, either way we're looking for a quadratic we can solve and we have to do a bit more work here. Uh, here we finish at that point. Um, but a quadratic in e to the x or cos x or shine x or something like that, uh, and then work from there.